All right, YouTube, it's time for occult literature video number one, specifically on the Book of the Chemical Art. This is, of course, Ficinus' work, uh, Marcellius Ficinus or Marcellius Ficino, um, written in the Renaissance. Very good work. I have released a new edition of this work. Link in the description where you can purchase it, of course, as well as to my books blog. Um, this particular alchemical text, and it does deal with alchemy, is more on the theoretical and philosophical side than the how-to side. There are two sort of competing schools within alchemy. Those works that primarily focus on philosophy, the, the religious, spiritual, or scientific, as then understood as being mystical anyway, side of it, how specifically alchemy is supposed to work, sometimes refuting critics, refuting certain beliefs within alchemy, or for, uh, there are folk works that refute sort of the high-minded philosophy, there are high-minded philosophical works that refute more of the folkish, this is one of the latter, and then there's more of the hands-on sort of this specific experiment will show you the virtues of alchemy. This is one of the former works. Uh, herein you have specific refutations of certain groups within alchemy that have what are considered by this particular author, and it may be misattributed, I, I believe that it's authentic, but it may be misattributed. Uh, specific sort of ideas within alchemy that are sort of uh, considered lowbrow. A lot of times what you get from the more, what you could say, academic works of the era. A lot of times what you get is a, a refutation of the use of alchemical lore, especially metallurgy and similar topics, uh, in certain types of medicine. Stuff not necessarily even on a Christian basis, but also a simply it doesn't work basis. Like, no, grinding these roots up and then burying it in the, in the cave for a week with uh, quicksilver will not raise a homunculus sort of refutations. And this is one of those works. It goes into quite explicit detail about the generation of materials in the earth, the, the, the theories behind how those work. And one part of this is almost like plate tectonics. It's actually ahead of its time. When you look at it, when you look at alchemical works, you have to look at them on multiple levels. The first is the literal. The literal as in, this is specifically alchemy. Yes, we are trying to create the sorcerer's stone sort of stuff, or the elixir of the philosophers, or a homunculus, or some, or a golem, something like that. The next level is the secular, which is what's the actual science behind these things. Um, in many ways, they were uh, not necessarily described in full detail as we would consider it in the modern sense, but at the same time they were still observing real phenomena, they just didn't quite understand how all of these things worked. And then there's also uh, hidden writing present within many alchemical texts, that is something that seems very literal, very explicit, can be masquerading, and in reality it's telling a philosophical story. The Rosary of the Philosophers famously would fall into that category almost completely. The Steganographia, uh, certain works even without of, uh, alchemy that are more ritual magic or something like that, or they're a, a biblical tract of some sort, they may tell a story on that third level that's different from the literal expose which they are actually listing. Uh, this work is 58 pages long. It's one of the better alchemical works. Uh, I believe I've now edited roughly a dozen works specifically on the topic of alchemy. This is paired with the occult. Some people are very much interested in alchemy and related philosophical materials. I myself am, that's why I edit them. Other people are only interested in ritual trappings. That is a literal grimoire that tells you how to summon demons or, or cause some other supernatural effect. If that's what you're looking for, this probably isn't the work for you. Uh, my edition clears up antiquated language, as in all of my editions. Anywhere I encounter archaic language, and it's not in the form of an actual explicit invocation or prayer, then I have to leave it alone, because it needs to stay the way that it was written originally. Otherwise, I am going to clear up that archaic language. The format is different. It's a little bit more readable than other editions of the same work, and it goes under several different titles depending on which edition you're looking at. Some are new, uh, most are rather old. I took the old one, updated its language, updated its format, it's now ready to go. And again, there is a link in the description that you can use. If you're interested in alchemy, this is one, and you're interested in the philosophical side of alchemy especially, and maybe even a little bit of the skeptical side of alchemy. This is not a hands-on how-to work. 
there is an element of skepticism, the early burgeoning pre-enlightenment sort of skepticism applied to paranormal phenomena. It is present in this work uh, by Ficinus. It's a very, very good one. I strongly recommend it to all practitioners of the occult, although I may be a little bit biased because I'm the editor. That's about all. Peace out.